What if two of the best Barcelona sides of all time faced each other? Who would win? Pep's Barcelona in 2009 that won six trophies or Luis Enrique's Barcelona that won five trophies in 2015? This is kind of like pitting two different generations against each other and we're going to be using FIFA 19 to find out who comes out on top. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to an experiment video where we'll be putting the 2009 Barcelona up against the 2015 Barcelona in a Champions League final to see which generation is better. This should be fun, so if you guys are excited for today's video, smash that like button and if you enjoy this kind of content, lots of FIFA 19 content coming to the channel on the daily then make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 videos now to do this video I actually had to create a ton of the 2009 Barcelona players like Thierry Henry, Samuletto and all so it took me a lot of time but Anyways, let's take a look at the squads. Alright, so first up, let's take a look at Barca's squad from back in the day, 2009, coached by Pep. So, Victor Valdez in goal. I had to create him because he's not in the game. PK, Puyol, Dani Alves and Eric Abidal at the back. That's actually a brilliant defense. I can't wait to see how Puyol plays in this video. He's going to be captaining this Barca side. Again, I had to create him because he is not in the game. He is in Ultimate Team, but not in regular FIFA. Sergio Busquets, Andre Iniesta and Xavi in midfield probably the best midfield of all time if I'm honest I mean it just has everything you need for you know a side that wants to keep possession again Xavi not in the game so I had to create him I've given him a 90 overall for players like Andres Iniesta and Dani Alves whose stats are pretty low in FIFA 19 I've adjusted their stats to give them respectable overalls to you know kind of match to you know how they were back in 2009 so Iniesta has a bit more pace it's the same with Dani Alves. So that's that for the midfield and defensive pep. So Henri, Samuletto and Leo Messi up front. One thing I'm really eager to see is that which trio performs better, whether it's this one of Henri, Eto'o and Messi or MSN. That is something that I'm really eager to find out. But yeah, that is an insane front three, you know. I mean, Thierry Henry, we know how good he is. A legend of the sport. Samuletto, the same can be said for him. And also Leo Messi up front. So that is the first team that's going to be played in the game against Lucho's Barcelona. So... On the bench, we've also got some old Barcelona players who were a part of the squad back in 2009. An interesting one is Casares. He was signed for, I think, 16 million euros and he's going to be on the bench here. Pinto as well is on the bench. He's actually now a musician, which is an interesting fact about him. We've got Muniesa as well in there, one of the youngsters at that point in time. Seydou Keita as well, 84 rated, someone that's really good coming off the bench. Yaya Torre as well, really good coming off the bench. He actually started in that Champions League final against Man United. And of course, we've got Pedro as well, who was really young back at that point of time in his career. And Boyan as well on the bench, who was regarded as the next Messi. So that is Pep Guardiola's Barcelona. Here we have Luis Enrique's Barcelona, led by Leo Messi, Suarez and Neymar. Quite possibly the greatest front line in the history of football. It's just lethal. They create so many chances for each other. They scored a ton of goals as well. And back in 2015, they were scoring goals for fun. Andres Iniesta, Sergio Busquets and Ivan Rakitic in midfield. The only change from back then and 2015 was that Rakitic was introduced to the midfield. He's the workhorse in this midfield. Instead of Xavi, who was more of a technician. So I'm eager to see when these two teams face each other, who's going to perform, whether it's Xavi or Rakitic. That's going to be an interesting thing. Thing. So Iniesta, Rakitic and Busquets in midfield, of course we've talked about Iniesta and Busquets, they are so so good and in 2015, especially Iniesta, he was in top form. Jordi Alba instead of Abidal, that's an interesting one, Alba definitely offers a lot more going forward. Gerard Piquet retains his place as he was also the starting centre back in 2015. Mastodano comes in for Carlos Puyol which is definitely a huge downgrade. But I don't know what's going to happen. Mascherano lacks height, so maybe Samuletto and Andre can capitalize on that. Dani Alves retains his spot in that right-back role. Ter Stegen in goal. So that is Lucho's Barcelona. And on the bench, they've also got some really good players. Xavi was actually a part of Lucho's Barcelona for that first season. So he is on the bench. Rafinha was also a part of that Barcelona. He used to come off the bench. Pedro as well. Roberto, he was a favourite of Lucho, of course, he scored that fabulous goal against PSG later on. 
Uh, Matthew as well, a bit of a meme for Barca fans. Bartra as well, now playing at Real Betis and Claudio Bravo, who was actually really good in that first season. He only played the league games though, whereas De Stegen played all the Champions League games. So these are the two Barcelona sides. You've had a look at them. They both look really good. And I'm just eager to see what happens. Which generation will come out on top, 2009 or 2015? Let's get into the gameplay and see who wins. Okay guys, before we get into the game, there's a bit of a difference between how both these Barcelona sides will be playing in today's simulation because, well, they play different brands of football. One team was more direct, the other was a bit more possession based. So Pep Guardiola's Barca is going to be following this tactics. Press after possession loss, you know, the seven second rule. That's what Pep's team will be following for this video. Possession based offensive style. That's what they did, guys. And, you know, just to keep it accurate, this simulation and to find out the real winner, we're going to be following proper tactics as well. And for Luis Enrique's Barcelona, I've gone with balanced, still a very high line, but balanced approach because that's how Barcelona played in 2015, you know, not really keeping that much possession. They were okay to losing the ball and maybe playing on the counter. But yeah, balanced seems very fair for Lucho's Barca. Here it is, guys. Barcelona versus Barcelona for the Champions League trophy. And to find out which generation was better. As you guys can see, I have edited a lot of the players that we've created to, you know, look kind of like their real-life counterparts. Because, you know what, it was difficult to do that. But I took my time, got it done for you guys. So, it's basically 2009 Barcelona versus 2015 Barcelona. So, the home kit is being worn by the 2009 one, coached by Pep. And the away kit, the neon color kit, is being worn by the 2015 one. So... That's the way you guys can differentiate it. I'm really eager to see which team keeps more possession. The difference of Xavi being in the 2009 team does mean that they have a better chance of doing so. But at the same time, Barcelona of 2015 have a way better attack. Not way better to be fair, but Neymar, Suarez and Messi is just ridiculous. And yeah, but at the same time again... The home Barcelona have got themselves Carlos Puyol at the back captaining them. So it's actually going to be a tough one to predict. Let me know your predictions. Which Barcelona is better in the comment section? Let's get into some gameplay. Here we go, boys. Kick off. I couldn't assign proper kit numbers to every player because Luis Suarez and Neto wore the same kit number. So I couldn't change that. So that is why kit numbers of a few players are a bit off. So far, the game has been played for the most part in the midfield. Not really any chances, you know, as per. So we'll see what happens. Again, look at this Barcelona midfield being patient, looking to pick out their passes at the right time. As Abidal now going forward, this could be it for Barcelona. Abidal with a chance to cross this one in. It's still Abidal. He plays this one into Samuel who almost goes there. It's Andres Iniesta on the rebound with the header that puts Barcelona, the one from 2009, into the lead. The team that won six trophies in a year have taken the lead against the 2015 Luchos Barca with Andres Iniesta scoring and Samuel Eto almost getting himself a goal as well that was quick 13 minutes in and we've already seen the first goal let's have a look at the replay for that Abidal heavily involved in that Eto very unlucky shouldn't have got himself the goal there but Andres Iniesta right place right time scores in yet another final 30 minutes in and Luis Enrique's Barcelona cannot find an answer to Pep's team so far it seems like 2009 is winning but we might see a chance here or maybe not as it seems like Puyol is going to be booked for that one a yellow card for the captain here we have Javier Mascherano Mascherano back to Busquets now Luis Suarez holds up the play really well but gives it away Yes, Thierry Henry, Samoletto, Eto out wide to Abidal, Abidal inside to Xavi, finds Henry, back to Xavi, this is brilliant from Pep's team, still Henry, back now to Busquets and they start once again, no wait, it's Leo Messi now on the attack, Messi looking to maybe cut inside, finds Iniesta, Eto, Xavi, this is brilliant football and Iniesta shoots but Ter Stegen makes the save, so far Pep's team is dominating this one. Here go Luis Enrique's team in behind into Neymar. This is a massive chance for them. Neymar whips the early cross in. That should be easy for PK. Neymar hasn't really had a good game. Henri is performing way better than him. Luis Suarez out wide into Neymar. It's Neymar versus Puyol. Neymar is literally just blasted past him. Neymar whips in the cross. This one's much better. And Luis Enrique's Barcelona have equalized. The goal coming from Rakitic. Neymar with the assist. Funny thing is, Rakitic actually scored in that Champions League final in Berlin and he's doing it again for this Barca side. 1-0 now. 
and the battle is on to be crowned the best Barcelona side of you know the last two decades or so. Rakitic with a phenomenal goal, fair play to Neymar with the assist. Thierry Henry inside into Andres Iniesta, back to Henry, here they go again. I'm sure Pep's team does want to get themselves a goal pretty soon, still Andres. Andres cuts inside, now Sergio Busquets, Busquets finds Xavi. Xavi to Leo Messi, here's Leo Messi, still Messi, Messi shoots to Stegen with a big save. And that is half time and I must say, Luis Enrique's team got a bit lucky in this half, I mean they scored the goal against the run of play and it's been Pep's team dominating so far in this first half but the scoreline is one all anything can happen in the second half depending on substitutions and which players come up clutch let's see the stats of the game if you look at the stats Pep's team is clearly dominating and it's a bit surprising that they haven't taken the lead in this half so shots wise five shots to one three shots on target to one more possession as well it's been a bit of a dominant display from Pep's team. Let's see what happens now in the second half. The first substitution has been made by Luis Enrique. Rafinha comes on for Rakitic. That's an interesting one. As here's Eto finds Iniesta. And oh my days, what's just happened here? Andres Iniesta has scored a worldie. Samuel Eto again involved in this one. That was a phenomenal assist. But the finish from Andres Iniesta was just something else. He goes off celebrating as well. But I cannot believe... He's done that first of all, Eto flicked it on, passed it to Iniesta and then Iniesta first time on the volley puts that one home with his weak foot. That is absolutely sensational. Iniesta under Pep is performing a lot better than Iniesta under Lucho, we must say that. But what a game this has been so far. It's only 2-1 to Pep but anything can happen in the remaining 30 minutes. Let's see what happens now. Iniesta is being brought off for Yaya Torre. Looks like Pep is making some changes and we know Pep has a bit of a beef with Yaya Torre so it's interesting to see that move happen but Iniesta after scoring a brace has been taken off. Still Messi, Messi sees Dani Alves out wide, this is brilliant, Xavi strikes it so well but Mark andre Ter Stegen with a big save, if that would have gone in it would have been over. 2009 would have won this generational battle but big save from Mats. Okay so Luis Enrique has made a big change bringing on Xavi for Andres Iniesta, let's see how that works out, Dani Alves now. Finds Rafinha, back to Alves. Alves and Rafinha linking, linking up well. And now Leo Messi. Messi just goes past Pique like he wasn't even there. Puts in a great cross. And Luis Suarez has equalized. What a game of football this has been. This is turning out to be a top, top generational battle out here. I mean, two all, 70 minutes in. Leo Messi finally getting involved for Luis Enrique's team. Luis Suarez, the man that has scored an insane amount of goals for Barcelona. Giving them the equalizer. There's still 20 minutes left to be played. Can a team get a winner or else this might be going to pens? Back to Jordi Alba. Looks like it's going to be a bit of patient build-up play from Luis Enrique's team. Rafinha. Still Rafinha finds Luis Suarez. Back to Leo Messi. What a chance for Messi. Messi shoots and a big save from Victor Valdez with just 7 minutes to go in this game. That's why Victor Valdez is one of the Barcelona greats in terms of the goalkeeping position. Still Xavi finds Henri inside, back to Xavi, maybe he can shoot, he finds Pedro who strikes it well, who comes on as a sub. I think Leo Messi has been brought off, which is interesting, but Pedro almost won them the game here. Ter Stegen with another big save. Dani Alves now in behind into Sergio Busquets, this could be finished now, Pep's team could be getting the win, Sergio Busquets. Back into Xavi, Xavi inside into Pedro who's been brought on, Pedro finds Eto, Eto into space into Pedro and a big save again from Ter Stegen but what? The refs called for a penalty, oh my god, 93rd minute, a penalty? What even is going on here? Rafinha the one to cause it and this could be it, let's take a look at that, oh it is a penalty guys, it is a penalty, Rafinha took down Pedro and here's a chance for Pep's team to win this game and win the generational battle and be crowned as the best team, best Barcelona team of all time, I guess. It's Yaya Torre to take this penalty. Yaya Torre shoots. Yaya Torre scores. The beef between Yaya and Pep should be gone now as Yaya wins Pep's team this game for sure. 93rd minute and of course added time. Barcelona lead 3-2. I mean both teams are Barca, we do know that. But Pep's team lead 3-2. Honestly, what a game of football this was. I'll be honest, just insanity. I cannot believe what's just happened. Pep's team has beaten Lucho's team with such small margins. A penalty in the 90th minute. It is actually insane what happened in this game. Just craziness, man. So I guess through FIFA 19's experiment, it's kind of proved that the 2009 Barcelona was better 
than the 2015 Barcelona? Let me know in the comment section which Barcelona do you think was better. I'd be interested to know about that. But let's now take a look at the stats of this game before we end off the video. So clearly the 0-9 Barca deserved the win. They were more dominant. 11 shots, 8 shots on target, 54% possession. They had a better pass accuracy. Their shot accuracy was a bit abysmal. But yeah, definitely a deserved win. So that's it for today's experiment. I'm so hyped about this because it was such a fun video to make. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you guys have had, make sure to drop a like on this video. The purpose of the video was to find out which generation of Barca is better and I guess we found that out and it is the 09 one. So drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here and I'll see you guys very soon with another video on this channel.